The boating industry is very diverse. There's a ton of variety and different style of boats for everyone's needs. Today we'll be talking about the three most expensive skiffs money can buy under 20 feet. What's up guys, it's Life Offshore and if you like the marine world, drop a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. It really helps me out. Anyways, today's topic is about skiffs, but more specifically, the most expensive ones you can buy in this market. Skiffs are specialty boats that are essentially used to get into very shallow waters and to fishing spots that most boats will never be able to access. Depending on haul design and dead rise, some can even handle a pretty decent bay chop when the winds pick up while you're out on your adventures. The prices will be ranked not on base model but by a fully specced out boat and by that I mean all the bells and whistles that can be added. From a full carbon fiber construction to multiple GPS's, multiple push poles, polling platform, fully loaded sow system, and things of that nature. So at number three, we have a Maverick 18 HPXV. It's 18 feet, four inches in length with a six foot, eight inch beam. It drafts in nine inches of water and weighs around 1500 pounds. Maverick has an extensive history in the boating and fishing world. They pretty much paved the way for all flats boats and they've been imitated a lot, but never duplicated. A lot of boat manufacturers copied Maverick's hull design and might have added a couple things so it's not a direct copy of the hull. But ultimately, Maverick has been making boats for over 30 years and has seen market shift and companies come and go while they've been there through the test of time. This 18-footer fully specced out with a 150 Yamaha outboard is right around at the hundred thousand dollar range you know give or take a thousand dollars here a thousand dollars there might be a little bit over might be a little bit under that hundred thousand dollar mark at number two we have hell's base 18 which is 18 feet one inch in length and has a six foot five inch beam it drafts in seven inches of water fully rigged out in my opinion hell's bay has the best fit and finish out of any skiff in the industry they really make a great product and a great boat. A lot of enthusiasts in this space will vouch for Hell's Bay, but their boat comes at a hefty price tag at around $120,000 fully loaded. But if you want it to be a fully carbon fiber construction, then the price will increase even more from that price of $120,000. I don't know the exact price of a fully specced out and a fully carbon fiber construction Hell's Bay, but be sure to add money on top of that $120,000 range. There's one up for sale on Marketplace that's a 2023 for $115,000. Last but certainly not least is Chittam's 18. It's 18 feet in length and has a six foot eight inch beam. It drafts in five to eight inches of water. It, that's gonna depend on what power you have, how light the boat is, how many people are on the boat, things of that nature but a fully loaded boat with a full carbon fiber construction is around $150,000 to $175,000. They're known for making carbon fiber skiffs that are extremely light, and that's what they got famous for. But that about wraps it up for this video, guys. Let me know in the comments below which boat you would buy out of these three, or which one is your favorite. <laughs> but until next time, you can catch me offshore.